Hello, I'm Kyle Bear. Now that you've finished your in-home deltoid workout, it's very important to cool your body down. Since your heart rate's been elevated for between 30 minutes and an hour, you really need to bring it back down to that resting heart rate level. So walking at a small incline on a treadmill or going outside for a walk would be very beneficial. As far as stretching, we'll go back to those same stretches we did before our deltoid workout. Carrie's gonna bring her arm across her body. She's gonna put her left hand over that elbow right around the tricep area. She's gonna keep her back nice and straight and she's gonna breathe throughout the exercise. She'll hold this for 30 seconds, putting pressure on it until she feels tension, holding that position. And then as the tension goes away, she can add a little more pressure. And then we'll switch arms. Stretching is very important, not only to elongate the muscle and um, help with the repair process for the next few days, You'll be going through what's called delayed onset muscle soreness, and the stretching will really help with that, but it'll also help prevent injury later. And for another stretch, Carrie will bring her arm up and over her head, and she'll grab her opposite tricep with her other arm, and she's going to pull. This will give her a nice uh, stretch in her deltoid as well as up through the tricep, which you got a little bit of work in her deltoid workout. She's going to breathe naturally, and she'll switch. Again, we're holding each of these stretches at home for a good 30 seconds and that it will conclude your cool down and stretching.